Hi, this is Jeff Gill. This is the version of a presentation that I gave at DFARM that explained how Shimmer is disrupting clinical trials with our new Verisense platform. Changing how we measure outcomes is the most fundamental thing you can do to disrupt clinical trials. In general, the way we measure outcomes today provides occasional and often subjective snapshots of outcomes. With wearables, we replace this with continuous objective outcome measures. We can quantify the impact of therapy much more accurately, enabling smaller, faster, and cheaper trials. Adverse events can be identified earlier, and wearables can enable virtual or mostly virtual trials. So if wearables are so great, why aren't they used more? It's because it's really tough to add more complexity to an incredibly complex and costly trial, and we don't have agreed upon endpoints to make the data useful. That's what we're going to change with Verisense. Verisense makes using wearables and trials as easy as it can possibly be for all the stakeholders. Let's start with the most important one, the participants. Of course, we made it as comfortable as possible. It's extremely light and low profile. These sensors are no touch for participants. Data is uploaded automatically. The battery lasts for up to six months, so there's no charging. The sensor is waterproof, so participants never need to take it off, even for baths or showers. We tell them, just put the sensor on and never take it off. We use standard watch bands, so participants have lots of styling options. Clinical sites are another important stakeholder, and we've tried to make it as easy as possible for them. Setting up and instructing a participant can be done in less than five minutes. Automated emails provide them an easy to understand status by participant of the data collection progress on a daily basis. The sensor can hold up to 44 days of data in case it is not able to upload for whatever reason, so sites don't need to deal with short-term data disruptions. Of course, we've paid attention to CROs and sponsors. The pro platform is incredibly modular and flexible. The sensor can be placed anywhere on the body wrists, waist, back, legs, even shoes and other articles of clothing. A snap-on battery pack can be replaced in seconds. Because of this flexibility, our customers are planning to use Verisense in a wide variety of applications beyond activity and sleep. We will also be adding a wide variety of different sensors to our basic IMU model. Just as important, these sensors are designed to fit into many different form factors, from stickers to chest straps to shirts with fabric electrode. All of these will use the same data acquisition system, providing the same ease of use as our basic IMU. Data acquisition is monitored every step of the way to ensure continuous raw data from the sensors is delivered to an AWS server that customers can access directly. This raw data provides the ground truth that regulatory agencies see and enables the data to become useful. I've talked a lot about how we have made adding wearables to clinical trials easier, but there's no point unless you can use the data. Raw data is critical. It allows you to build a database across studies and even across manufacturers. Availability of raw data opens up a world of academic research algorithms that have been developed over the last decade. For example, Shimmer selected an open source package called GGIR to power our Verisense IMU. More than 80 peer-reviewed publications use these algorithms. They have been validated against standard metrics on tens of thousands of people. Because they are open source, they provide the transparency that we need to accelerate progress. GGIR is just one example of what's available. The level and validation and quality of the software is amazing. We need to make this kind of resource available to everyone. That is why I'm so excited by the open source initiative that we launched September 12th with NextBridge and Vincent Van Hees. Our vision is to make it so that researchers and developers can search a database, find validated algorithms that provide accepted endpoints, and then be able to use the software freely. Shimmer is leading by putting the algorithms we've developed into this initiative. Perhaps more important, we will reach out to our 3,000 plus research customers to encourage them to contribute code that they have developed. We want to partner with pharma, device manufacturers, and other interested parties in this effort. Please contact us if you are interested in participating. I hope I have conveyed the significant strides we have made in using wearables in clinical trials, both easy and useful. 
We are not at the end of this process, but rather at the beginning. We can't disrupt clinical trials by ourselves. However, we hope to be the catalyst by providing a platform that enables all of you to make revolutionary change. Thank you for your attention.